What is going on, fight fans? So Shakur Stevenson is no longer waiting around for someone to want to fight him or even begging for a fight on Twitter. What he's doing is he is setting up a petition or putting a petition through to the WBC to enact rule 3.7 of the WBC mandatory rules that allows for him to fight Devin Haney for the WBC title and of course subsequently it would be for undisputed it will be for the rest of the titles as well now let's go ahead and look at that reporting that came from boxing scene Shakur Stevenson tired of waiting contacts WBC to order Devin Haney mandatory fight and if we go all the way down uh, it says Shakur Stevenson is done waiting around. BoxingScene.com has confirmed that uh, Stevenson's team has formally contacted the WBC to call for a mandatory title fight versus undisputed lightweight champion Devin Haney and the possibility of an even purse split. New Newark's uh, Stevenson is the WBC mandatory challenger and has attempted to negotiate such a fight in good faith but has already reached a point where the sanctioning body will have to intervene. So what this basically is saying is that an offer was done for uh, Stevenson to take 25% uh, of the revenue share. You have to understand when it's pay-per-view, it's not just the purse itself. It's the revenue share, right? You, or you're also sharing in gate. You're also sharing in pay-per-view uh revenue and this fight would be for on pay-per-view as Devin Haney's last fight with Lomachenko was on pay-per-view and his fight with Cambosis was on pay-per-view pay-per-view so this would be no different so consistent with the rule with uh WBC rule 3.7 Shakur has been designated the mandatory challenger for the lightweight champion Devin Haney uh Josh Dubin uh Stevens Stevenson's co-manager along with James Prince stated it to the WBC in an official letter obtained by BoxingScene.com while we have tried for the last several weeks to negotiate about with Mr. Haney on Mr. Stevenson's behalf we have not made much progress so he has both James Prince and James Josh Dubin trying to negotiate with Devin Haney and it's not going anywhere. So he's basically not budging from the 25%. So he's enacting rule 3.7. What exactly is rule 3.7? I pulled up the legal rule system from the WBC right here. So this is what rule 3.7 is. Rule 3.7. These rules also provide that after the WBC orders the bout, there shall be a period of 30 days. So Devin Haney has 30 days to come up with a more reasonable per split and revenue share split between him and Shakur Stevenson. If they come up to an agreement, which is probably just a little bit more than 25%, they could have the fight. Now, I'm hearing a lot of people say, well, even if Shakur Stevenson does this WBC mandatory rule and it passes the 30 days, he's still going to get 25%. Anyways, that's just people capping that don't exactly know what the rule 3.7 is because this is what rule 3.7 does. If the 30 days, if they do the 30 days uh, for the parties to negotiate, finalize, execute, and file a contract for the bout, if no agreement is reached in that period, so this forces Devin Haney's hand to reach an agreement or fall into this category. The rules permit that the WBC is to institute a purse offer procedure by which promoters bid at an auction for the right to promote the bout. Um, out of winning the bid, 10% must be set aside as a bonus for the bout's winner. So whoever wins get an additional 10%. And, and here's the kicker. 10% uh, must be set aside for the uh, the uh, for the bonus for the bout's winner. And the championship bout, and in the championship bout, 70% of the remaining 90 must be paid to the champion. And 30% of the remaining 90 uh, goes to the challenger. So that is rule 3.7, which means of 90%, 70 is going to go to Devin Haney. 30 is going to go. So even on the baseline, on the off the 90%, Devin, uh, Shakur Stevenson is at least getting 5% more. And if Shakur Stevenson wins, he will leave with 40% of it. So it'll be that extra 10% that's being he uh, held to the side for the winner of the bout. So he will come out way better in this situation, proving that Shakur wants this fight 
more more bad bad badly than what people think he does people think he's ducking he's just trying to get paid like a normal human being at the caliber of where he is even going as far as to taking less understanding that he will end up with 30 percent, maybe 40 percent uh if he wins the fight and not a 50 50 split right they could negotiate up to a 50-50 split. They could negotiate, uh, uh, you know, a uh, 60-40. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever they do, it will be in Devin Haney's best interest to negotiate if WBC mandates this fight. Or, of course, he can do the, the route that will be so easy. And probably more than likely, if he doesn't truly want this fight, is vacate and move up to 140 which is a possibility. But if he vacates, it allows for Shakur Stevenson to fight the likes of Lomachenko and to fight for vacant belts, to fight for the vacant WBC. The titles will be dispersed. He will have to collect them all again. But it does give the opportunity for other people to become world champions. And it lets Shakur at least have an opportunity to become a three division world champion. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I think this is awesome that he is doing this. It's going to force the negotiations to move forward and not kind of, it, it's going to force Devin Haney's hand, either relinquish the belts and move up to 140, negotiate within 30 days or risk having it be, uh, uh, basically, um, a uh, 40% for Shakur if Shakur wins, uh, and with a baseline of 30%. So that, that's, that's going to be. That's going to be pretty tough for him. I don't think he would want that. So I think that they they may reach an agreement uh, within the 30 days, right? He doesn't want 10% to be set aside for the winner. I don't, I don't, I don't think he does, but we'll see. Anyways, until the next one is Edward from Boxing Fanatico bringing you the boxing news. Peace out, guys.